Well, good morning. Um, I thought since I'm now on a night rotation, I would take you through kind of what happens over the course of 24 hours while on nights. Um, specifically, this being my first night working tonight, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., but there's still a full day, and my body's used to a full day, so um, I guess I take you through 24 hours as in depth as I remember to get. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll try that. But it is a beautiful day, so that's why I'm outside. Um, and I think first things first, that guy needs to go to the park. So while I sit out here and listen to the noises of Chicago for the next uh, four or five minutes before I get sunburned, um, yeah, we'll go to the park, we'll have a good time, and uh, we'll get the rest of the day started. back from the park but it's still outside because it's so beautiful out um, it's uh, eight something I think I don't know regardless hi bud he's trying to distract me so he can steal my breakfast oh maybe not he's leaving okay um, <laughs> so in an attempt to bring you through everything here's breakfast First off is my current view. And then Kodiak cakes with some blueberries and a heaping pile of eggs. Um, in here there are two full eggs and a couple of egg whites. And that's breakfast. Um, I don't know how many calories are in there right now, but I will put it in my phone and put it over here somewhere probably. Um, Alright, I'm gonna get to eating um, after breakfast. I'll be doing a couple of chores around the house, gonna get some studying done, um, just working really until I go to the gym this afternoon. Um, I plan on taking a nap before work, um, but me and naps don't really mix that well, so we'll see if that actually works, um, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. So. All right, so it's uh, midday sometime. I don't actually know. <laughs> um, got the chores done. Got a little bit of studying done. Uh, had lunch. Um, had a chicken salad. Apparently Amazon makes salads now that I ordered a few of. Um, they're pretty good. And then I threw some chicken in the air fryer. And uh, it's delicious. But it's delicate. You have to get the, the timing just right. But I suggest everyone get an air fryer. They're great. Um, but now... The plan for the rest of the day is gym, nap as best I can. I'm bad at naps, so it's not gonna go well. And then go to work. So for now, it's gym. Uh, for later, wish me luck. All right, well now I am showered. I am, well, I was gonna say napped, but um, I actually got zero sleep, so that's fun. We'll see how this goes. Uh, usually night one's not terrible. Um, and then I have like three days in a row off, so it should be okay. Um, and then I can just sleep tomorrow. But um, yeah, time to go to work. Um, you know, I'll do my best to bring you along however much I can. But again, laws and things prohibit a lot. So without further ado, time to go to work. All right, so unfortunately, my microphone decided not to record this clip, so I have to record it a bit afterwards. Anyway, here it's about 9 o'clock in the evening. found myself a call room to hang out by myself uh, and had one patient endorsed to me. At our hospital, we don't go down to the emergency room to see the patients. Um, sometimes it gets annoying, 
because I think at this point I'd already had the note pretty much written. All I needed to do was talk to the patient and do a physical exam, and my plan was already pretty much laid out. There are pros and cons to doing it the way we do it, doing it the way other places do it. I think it's generally safer the way we do it. You know, we get to chart review, wait for the patient to get to the floor, and have the nursing staff and the PCTs and the support staff get everything squared away. Then we go see the patient. You know, lots of things can happen between the emergency room and the floor, so it's probably safer that way. But sometimes you like, for the sake of efficiency, to go downstairs and see the patient and take care of all that stuff. But I'll wait for the patient to get to where I need the patient to be. And I think at this stage in the night, I'm just worried about dinner because I was just flipping my schedule and I forgot to have dinner. <laughs> so I was pretty hungry. Um, but yeah, so I was waiting for my patient and then literally two minutes later dinner gets here uh, i got vietnamese food um chicken rice jalapenos peanuts lots of vegetables everything a grown boy needs so i'm gonna eat this that was good um and um yeah i will wait still for my patient to get here One patient seen. No one yet endorsed to me as of right now. That will very likely change. <laughs> um, so, tell me, dark spooky hallway. All right, three o'clock in the morning. Had to go for a little bit of a walk. Headed back upstairs now. Only two patients, but one more in the ED waiting for me. A lot of cross cover stuff to take care of too. Um, I forgot tonight's like the interns' first nights on nights, um, so that's exciting for them. <laughs> um, but I like teaching the, the new the new interns, so it hasn't been, it hasn't been bad. It's been fun, so not terrible. But um, yeah, as usual, ready for the night shift to end. Yeah, so I think I have like three hours left of admitting four hours left until I can go home. Not that I'm counting. I'm counting. I'm always counting. <laughs> oh, man. Not too many patients. Only three. Or four? Four. Four. Got four. Oh, boy. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So it's uh, a few minutes past seven. All the sign out in the world has been done. I'm shaking the camera because I'm too weak to hold up my phone. But now it's time to get out of here and shower. I always get so greasy in the hospital. I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, um, nighttime is not super exhilarating, to be honest. Um, ugh. Mostly, for me, it's wait until the ED sends me somebody, admit them, take care of them overnight, and then sign on to the day team. And that's kind of how nights work. So, in the ICU is a little bit different because you do more things. Ooh, I love steering wheel. Um, but yeah. Time to go home. All right, I just pulled in to my apartment. Um, I decided I would end the video here because when I get inside, I'm not gonna do anything except shower and become unconscious. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I hope you guys are at least entertained um, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a super exciting time, um, on nights, you know, you just kind of get through it, honestly, it's not the most fun. The medicine is a little bit more cavalier in that, you know, there's much, much less oversight 
um, you know, you certainly do everything you can to do the right thing. Um, and there's always somebody around. Uh, that being said, you know, it's nice. Kind of do what you need to. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> That's 24 hours in my life when I'm on nights. So I will catch you guys later.